in many situations where you are collecting evidence, you have to maintain a chain of custody. That means that the integrity of what was gathered at the crime scene or the incident scene is something that you can later on look at and verify that what you gathered during that initial phase is exactly what you're looking at later. It's important internally, of course, and incredibly important when you get into legalities and being able to prosecute people for bad things that they've done to your resources or to your environment. So anyone who contacts runs into this evidence that touches it, moves it, transports it, does anything with it, generally has to be part of the chain of custody. The idea here is we're preventing any of this from being tampered. Many of these evidence bags have a section at the top where you can seal it. There is no way to get into this bag unless you tear this bag apart. And that again, now you sign off on it. Yes, I opened the bag. If you now need to reseal it, you have to use a separate bag. And normally you seal everything, the original bag and your evidence along with that bag. You're going to label everything. You're going to catalog everything. You're going to take pictures of as much as possible. You're going to seal it and probably store it away for at least for a temporary amount of time. As I mentioned earlier, these things can tend to go a number of days, a number of weeks, a number of years if this is going into our legal system so that you need to be able to pull this out a year later and determine, has this been tampered with? Has this exactly the same as what I put in this box a year ago? You have to maintain that chain of custody to be able to do that. Your incident response policy should have a very detailed section on what do you do when you're the first responder. If you're the person who comes across this problem, comes across this issue, what do you do? And it needs to be well documented in a lot of detail because there's many things you can do when you first arrive on the scene. One of the things that's very important is not to disturb the environment or to only disturb as little as possible. You want to be able to go back later and recreate what occurred and find information about what was there. Normally, you would have multiple people involved. You have a phone list. You call some people and you say, what do we do with this system? You want to be careful that you don't damage any evidence that might already be there. You want to then follow the escalation policy for your organization. Again, this is something that's documented. Who do you call first? If this system is one of our incredibly important systems, maybe we also bring in a director or vice president or CIO or even higher level within the organization. There should be a call sheet and you should know immediately who to communicate communicate with and how to get the people on site that you need to resolve these types of issues so that you can gather as much information as possible, inform as many people as possible, and have what you need later on to piece together what really happened.